Hello, my most beautiful friends. Welcome to the six pack. <laughs> I am going to be doing a six piece Dutch pour today. Can I achieve it? I have no clue, but we're going to try. So anyway, I'm calling it the six pack because we have six canvases and I know diptych, triptych, quadriptych. I'm not trying the six tick, six tip or whatever it's called. We're just going to call it a six pack. And coincidentally, a six pack is something that I definitely don't have. <laughs> uh, either in my fridge or on my body. But anyway, what I'm going to do is flood the canvas really quick. But I wanted to show you something. Um, see all those air bubbles in there? Because so I had added just a tiny bit of water to... This is a 16 ounce cup, I believe. And I have it half full, so eight ounces. I added in a tablespoon of water, that little. But when I mixed it, as you can see, we got a bunch of air bubbles. So I let it sit for a bit. And sometimes when you just kind of go like this with the stick, it takes care of a lot of them. See that? But you're still gonna have air bubbles on your canvas. So just spread out your paint and try to torch it really, really quick. And then uh, you should be good. But see now, I let it sit for those couple of seconds and a few more came back. So it's just something you have to deal with. The most important part is not having them when you're painting is curing or else you're going to get white specks. So I'm going to dump this paint on and coat, cover the entire base of these canvases and I'll be right back. All right, so I've went and coated everything down. And when you do more than one panel, you want to make sure they're all up together, all up against each other, okay? Uh, but you also want to make sure that you take them apart when you're done designing your artwork. Or else they will cure like that and you're going to have one heck of a time getting them apart if you even can. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That's the dealio. All right, so for my colors, I'm using an art alchemy color called Emerald Green, and I found this at Michael's. Then I have Pebio's Iridescent Blue. I have, these are all leftovers I'm trying to use up. Uh, neon or Fluorescent Green by Golden. Pebio's Iridescent Green Yellow. This is the uh, Emerald Green that I just showed you. And then I'm using all five of the Blingit Interference Colors from Color Art. My favorite new thing. I think I finally found my niche when it comes to styles of art I like to do. These just enhance your artwork so much. And you'll see what I mean at the end of the video when I show you the results. The recipe will be in the description below. And with the ear, the interference colors, you can't see them now, okay? But once they're on top of a dark color, this violet, you're going to see a violet shifting in whatever color you put it on top. So if you have this green paint down first, and then you put this on top of it, when your painting is dry, when you look at it straight on, you're gonna see green paint, but then when you move the canvas, that green is going to have a highlight of uh, violet. So that's what they do. You can also take the powders themselves, and mix them into your paint to make a color shift paint. I choose to use them separately though. So what I'm going to do first is put down some green. Now these are small, these are only four by 12. So you do not need a lot of paint. You don't wanna take over the whole canvas if you're trying to do a negative space like I am. So very little.
Now, I didn't have any big sticks on hand, but if you have a, a bigger uh, tongue depressor, you can hold more paint on it, and therefore, you won't have to keep reloading your stick with paint. I teach that with resin, too, because in resin art, we do a lot of line work like this, especially when it comes to creating geodes, and you want to have one nice, steady stream of color when you're laying down your line work and you do not want to drip over your canvas like I just did. Ugh, Tammy, <laughs> I tell you, I'm one of those people that do not learn from my mistakes. I can tell you that. All right, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down some of the interference violet. Let's see if I could pour a thin stream of this instead of messing with the stick. That seems to be going okay. The key to these working the right way is placing them on top of a color. So that's the violet and this is the gold. Now these will show up if you use a white cell creator, but they show up 10 times better when you use black. So I'm going to be using black for that. Um, now I'm going to put down some of the Pebio green yellow. And this I may not be able to pour. Let's see. Oh, maybe I can. One more. Pass. Okay. Then I'm going to use, on top of that, some interference blue. Now here's a bigger stick, and you'll see what I mean. See how I was able to make it across the whole six panels? So that's just a little tip for you. So we have that. I'm going to put down some, hmm, some of this iridescent blue. Um, no. Emerald green first, only because I'm using a black cell creator. So this is kind of dark and the black on top of it will only darken it. So I'll save that lighter blue for the last color I put down. Okay. Now I'm going to use That was blue. I'm going to put down some green. Some red. And then I'm going to put down my last color, which will be that iridescent blue from Pebio. So iridescent colors are paint that have interference in them. What the blanket colors are, are straight up interference. It's what they add. Well, they don't add that brand. I'm just saying they add an interference, uh, iridescent medium to paints, which is basically a mica that color shifts. All right, so we have all our colors down. I'm going to get my black out that is mixed just with Floetrol, American Floetrol, and we're going to go right down the center. But I'm going to use enough so that when I use my airbrush and my blow dryer, I will be able to blow it upwards and downwards. Want to make sure you have enough in there. Okay, 
I love when the black hits the interference violet. It makes this black cherry color that is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to torch really quick. And we're going to blow them around. First with the blow dryer, let's see how they do. And I have this on high. Now I'm going to take my airbrush and define it. Oh, I cannot wait to show you guys this. Cannot wait. I'm going to pull these apart really quick. Maybe. Cannot wait to show you this. Let me just finish pulling them apart. Hopefully you can still see on screen. Okay, much better. This has to be one of the most sexiest Dutch pours I have done. And you may be thinking, what is she talking about? But I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> I promise I am not losing my mind. And we're going to work on this one a little bit. And then I think that may be it. I don't want to overwork it because it is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. I am done. First, I'll do a view with the lights on. <sighs> I, I, I'm just, 
besides myself right now. You're going to see why, I promise. You can see a little bit in that black area right there. <laughs> oh, and I'm going to say goodbye as I show you this. So for once in my life, I can have a shorter video. Here we go. If you would like to purchase this or any of my other art, please either email me or you can go to my Etsy shop. This won't be in there until it's dry, but ladies and gentlemen, look at that. <laughs> See, go forward. I'm just going to go backwards over all of them so you can just see the color shift. Um, join my Facebook group, United We Pour, with Tammy and Lisa. The description's in the bottom. Uh, Amazon. Color art, if you like these interference colors or the primary elements. I have a coupon for 20% off. No minimum purchase required, which is great because a lot of companies have their rules about spending a hundred before you get any kind of discount so that link is below also i'm not using it today because i have to resin some paintings but the lily vefe mat which is great for resining paintings just not 10 at once um i have that description in the box also with the coupon that is attached to the link. I mean, come on, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Ah. Anyway, I love you all. And until next time, please click the like. Please click subscribe if you're not subscribed. Check your notification bells to make sure they are on all. Um, and you will get all the notifications for my channel. So... Until next time, my friends, happy pouring.